Hi everyone, Nicole here from the Inclusive Class and I am back again to talk to you about including students who are uh, working at below grade level in your class and you want them to be uh, participating and basically doing what the other kids are doing, giving them opportunities to learn and to be productive and enjoy what is happening in the class. So one of the things that we often do, especially in the upper grades, is we do novel studies. And very often those novel studies include activities which involve a little bit of writing, especially if you're in the upper grades. And in this activity here, this would be, uh, say for example, grade four or five uh, handout that uh, I would give a class. And it's your typical question and answer. So you can see there's a question and then space for your students to answer. Now a student who may not be working at grade level would be would obviously find this challenging uh, given you know the small print, the small space for the lines, and uh, perhaps may not be working at that comprehension level. So what you can do, and this one actually takes a little bit more prep as opposed to the other ideas that I've shared recently. And it would involve providing a handout that looks like this. So on this page, you can see that I still have the same um, activity. It's I'm wanting the child to understand the text to the best that they can to the level that they're able to. And what I've done is I've taken the sentence and I've simplified it a bit for the student to understand. So I've given a, a little bit of a simpler sentence, not as complex, a larger space to write in the uh, answer. And then I've also, if you noticed on the um, behind the lines, there's brackets where it says P.3, for example, at the top. That's the page where I'm directing the child to go and look for the answer. So the child is then supported by a simpler sentence, more space to write, and then I'm directing them to a page where they can get their answer and write it down. Another option, if the child has written output challenges, is to prepare something that looks like this. And in this situation, what you would do is you would give the child um, several sentences to choose from, several answers to choose from. So for example, in 6a, to prepare for the harvest, little Willie had to, and then there's several options. And you can direct them to the correct answer by providing the page number once again after the question. So the child has to go to the page and look for the specific answer and then just has to circle the answer rather than writing it all out. So that's a strategy that you can use to include a child who has some special needs that need addressing and some support with their writing. And once again, I'd like to remind you that you can follow me for more tips and ideas at www.theinclusiveclass.com. And also, I'm encouraging you to join in the fun here, and let's learn from one another. And um, I'd like to ask you, how are you doing inclusion? Join up, share, let's learn from one another. Hashtag the Inclusive Class Project to identify your um, ideas and strategies. And... I look forward to seeing you. Thanks. Bye-bye.